Welcome, 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 federal employees. It is so good to have you here today. Now, I know today's topic is for those federal employees that might have military time or those military retirees that are thinking about going into the to work for the federal government. So welcome. If you're new here, it is so good to have you. My name is Dallin Haas. I'm a financial planner that serves federal employees. So we're going to dive in to see how this affects your military retirement, how this affects your potential civilian retirement, how this all works, what are the options, and what's the best way to get the most out of everything for you. So let's dive right in. I've actually got a question um, from a military retiree looking to move into the federal government as a civilian. So I, let me read through this and I'll answer his question by going through all the different um, situations that might come up for you. So they say, hello, I am a retired military personnel with 20 years of service. I've been hired for a government job with the IRS. My question is, how do I handle my military retirement and my new federal employment with the IRS? Do I have to waive my military retirement? I am currently 55 years old and plan on only working until I am 67. Would I be entitled to retirement with the IRS and keep my military retirement if I don't combine both? Need help figuring this out. Thank you. Okay, so this is an awesome, awesome question. So basically, in this situation, this person says, hey, look, I did 20 years with the military. I have a military retirement, but I'm getting hired on with the federal government, with the IRS. How does this all work together? So great question. So right out of the box, just by you or just by anybody who is a military retiree, just by taking a civilian position, it will not affect your military retirement, your military pension in any way unless you want it to, right? Unless you want it to. So if you just worked for the IRS, you can still receive your military retirement for the rest of your life. It won't be affected whatsoever, okay? So that, that let me make that clear. Again, I'll repeat it just to, for clarity's sake. If you are a military retiree receiving a military pension, if you take a job as a civilian for as a federal employee, it does not have to affect your military retirement in any way if you don't want it to. Okay? Not at all. Now, what why do I mean if you don't want it to? Well, you can actually do what they call a military time buyback. And what that means is you can pay a a lump sum of money. It, it depends on how much years of service you have in the military and that sort of thing and when it was. But basically, you pay a lump sum for your military time, your military years to count towards your civilian retirement. Okay? So, for example, in this example, the federal employee or the, yeah, the, the new federal employee that submitted this question, he is now 55 and he worth, wants to work until he is 67. Right? So he'd have 12 years of service as a civilian federal employee. And so if he did nothing, if he just did that, what he would have is he'd have his military retirement based on his 20 years in the military, and then he'd have on top of that a civilian retirement with the IRS based on his 12 years with the IRS. Right? He'd have two separate pensions. That's how it would work. Okay. Now, He's got one option. He can, again, pay, buy back his military time, pay the lump sum, and those 20 years are now going to add into his 12 years as a civilian so that he would have um, 32 years, 32 years as a civilian, right? That's how it worked. Now, if you do that, if you do that, once you start receiving your civilian retirement, your civilian pension, your military retirement drops off. It drops off. So that is the only time you'd have to waive your military retirement is if you buy that time back and then you start receiving your civilian pension. You can't buy it back and receive both of them at the same time. That's how it works. So option number one, you you earn a retirement for both and they're separate. Option number two is you buy back the military time and that adds in to the civilian time. Now, the biggest question is, should I do that, right? Does that make sense? And the answer is probably not if... If you have a military pension, if you're drawing a military pension, the numbers don't normally add up to make sense to, to buy it back. Normally it makes sense to keep them separate, okay? Now, if you only have four years or five years or six years, not enough time with the military to actually have a military pension. If you don't have a military pension, then it almost always makes sense to buy that time back so you get some credit for it in your civilian pension. 
Okay, so let me repeat that. If you have a military pension already, like you're getting a monthly check from the military from that time, it rarely makes sense to buy that time back as a civilian. Rarely. Sometimes, I've been surprised, it does happen sometimes, but rarely. But if you don't, if you only, you didn't have enough years in, with the military to get a retirement, you almost always want to buy that time back because as a civilian, it would allow you to retire early as, earlier as a civilian and your pension is going to be a lot bigger buying that time back. So if you want a ultimate guide on how this works, I've got a, um, basically it's called, um, should you buy back? Well, let me actually find, let me find the exact title for you. Let me get the exact title for you so you could Google this. Okay. It is called buying back military time, the ultimate guide. If you type that into Google or type it into my website at hawsfederaladvisors.com, you could find it and it goes through every last single detail about buying back your time, how much it's going to cost, when you have to do it, all that good jazz. You could check that out, but that's the core concept of what you can do as a military retiree moving into the civilian side. So again, thank you for your service in the military and thank you for your service um, as a civilian federal employee. Thank you for everyone watching. Thank you for investing in yourself and learning about your future so you could be better prepared. I hope that's helpful. Have an, have an incredible rest of your day. I'll see you guys next time.